fastest UL 19. 119, that's my all-time PB right there, you guys. Welcome back to the channel, you guys. Welcome back. So we got the TFL Ariane back on the block. All right. I uh, had to take a little break from this build. Uh, we had to get some parts in the mail. Everything is here. Got a couple other goodies I wanted to show you. So uh, gonna gonna just do a real quick video for you guys. TFL Ariane 51 Twin. Okay. So um, as you guys know, we lost one of the props, the prop shaft, like pretty much everything on this uh, left hand side. So basically had to order this and I kind of had to piece it together. Okay, so we got the shaft, prop, drive dog, and I'm still waiting on the Teflon PTFE washers. Okay, I got some on the long boat and I got some local, which is kind of the wrong size, but uh, I think I can make it work. <laughs> so, because uh, I want to get this boat on the water, I, I know you guys want to see this boat on the water, you know, so uh, I'm trying to, I'm trying to piece everything together. Okay. Uh, Sandy, this is from TF, TFL North America, which is actually, it was actually pretty quick shipping. <laughs> this is an, uh, this is an $18 shaft. It cost me $35 for that. <laughs> um, shipping and a handling charge. So, yeah, yeah. All right, so we got the shaft. And yes, they're all threaded right hand rotation. So we're going to have to mod this out so that this thing don't spin out with a clockwise spinning propeller okay so that's coming up uh, just basically put the boat back on the block since I got all the parts back okay uh, I also ordered from Bonzi Sports okay Bonzi Sports is a uh, yeah they actually do you right man real quick shipping real quick shipping Bonzi Sports prices are pretty good uh, we got a ABC prop. It's a 2616 clockwise because that's the one we lost. It will match this one. And this one right here, I hadn't took it out of the package yet, but it actually looks a lot better than the last one I got. So I'm happy about that. It won't take me quite as long to, um, to balance it up, you know. So I'm excited to get this thing on the balancer. Um, I also sent like at TFL North America, um, they didn't really have anything else in stock and I, I didn't even know this come with a nut. They didn't have the drive dogs in stock. They didn't have, um, the Teflon washers in stock. So I actually, uh, I went ahead since I have this TFL drive dog, I went ahead and ordered three quarter inch drive, just one extra, but I got two. So I can replace the TFL drive dog with a matching Bonzi Sports drive dog. Okay. Um, they didn't have this in stock and I didn't want to order from China, the shipping. So I just ordered a matching set. All right. Easy peasy. I also got matching nuts because I wasn't the sure. TFL was going to include a nut. So we have matching nuts. So now I have extras. These are like a thin nut. These are a little bit wider. So... I also got a shim for the um, 48 with some of my quarter inch bores, you know, so that's that. All right, um, offshore electrics, I've been wanting to test out a bigger can motor on my um, 34 Vortex hydroplane. So I ordered a, um, a 1650 SSS motor, okay, 1650. This I mean, it's a good motor. A lot of guys know exactly what this is. Uh, I, I got it for the for the Delta Force. We're going to try to uh, get some nice ovals with it. We've been running some pretty ovals with that boat. So I um, just wanted to go a little bit bigger in KV so I can prop up. Basically, same KV. I went up 50. I went up in motor size so I could. So, um, yeah, we should be able to run some bigger props and kind of do some fast. So I also picked up a 24-inch um, a long .187 Teflon liner. Uh, this should work on the on the on the Sonic Wake, the V2 Sonic Wake. Uh, any any point one eight seven that you're running an oversized stuffing tube, so you can run the liner. I got it for my Scorpion outrigger and my Animal in case I go back to Teflon on the Animal. I don't think I will because it's been running really good. How about that 119 mile per hour run with the Animal? Come on, boy. 
So um, I also picked up this little oiler clamp on oiler block. I had a lot of comments uh, regarding the, the bearing oiler block on this 51 inch Ariane. So I figured I would um, get this, show you guys what it is, do the install on my Delta Force Vortex 34 when we put the 4092 1650 in, okay? So um, it basically clamps onto a quarter inch stuffing tube. So um, any 0.150 with a liner quarter inch stuffing tube or 0.187 no liner quarter inch stuffing tube this will work like the ul19 stock stuffing tube this will work velez stock stuffing tube this will work um i think the recoil 218 runs a 0.150 quarter inch stuffing tube this will work so um it will not work on the sonic wake blackjack 42 sonic wake 48 uh it's limited to a quarter inch tube it just clamps on take the nipple off you drill a hole in it put a uh a grease gun on it or you oil i'm going to use mine for oil you can also uh put this little guy on there like that kind of let it like do it hang out do its thing you take this off fill it up with oil to kind of triple it down and you have a little self oiler you can also get oiler systems for this like a little canister that hooks up to this so it's pretty cool really cheap just wanted to show you guys that um so yeah yeah this thing here we're gonna start working on it i um i started working on my prop trying to get an initial like uh shape down on this 26 16 10 50 uh this is a an eight millimeter shaft step down a quarter so it's an odd size teflon thrust washer which we actually need we gotta you can't run it without a teflon washer so i'm waiting on that okay i kind of like this drive dog from bonzi it's got two big set screws on it pretty cool it's a little shorter too so um be kind of a nice nice drive dog so i've been kind of working on this little um 21 inch cat trying to get it going again got it painted and clear coated i was gonna go with like a silver bullet theme if i can find one <laughs> But um, something easy, simple. I just built it to build it because I just like running boats and building boats. I hate painting. So um, I got the ESCs in. All I need is my, to put is a servo in here, and it'll be ready for the water again. This is a fun little boat. I kind of put it on the back burner this summer because I had so much other stuff going on. So we'll get this thing back on the water. I moved my servo mount back. I re repositioned my exits. They were going through the bottom reposition them so i can basically get my cg back a little bit and i can run my, my batteries forward so i kind of reconfigure the center of gravity this summer so uh excited to get this thing back on the water so uh we'll see you guys next time like the videos comment on the videos um hope to hear from you we'll see you next time thanks for watching